Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas has a sugar daddy. Huh? It turns out a far-right mega donor named Harlan Crow has been taking Thomas on expensive vacations for 30 years. Private jets, private yachts, private clubs, weird special men's only clubs, trips all around the world, multiple times a year. Now, why does this matter? Let's say someone did something really fancy and expensive for you multiple times a year for the last 30 years. Wouldn't you feel like you owed them? Wouldn't you feel more favorably inclined to their point of view? Shouldn't this kind of thing be banned? The Supreme Court actually has a rule that says gifts over $145 must be reported. Basically one bite of caviar aboard the super yacht and Thomas was over the $145 limit. But somehow the Supreme Court has no ethics code the way the rest of the federal judiciary does and the way that Congress does. It's long past time for the Senate Judiciary Committee to do a full investigation of influence on the Supreme Court justices and to pass a binding ethics code to stop this thing from happening ever again.